42 boats crossed the start line of the Yachting World Round Antigua race in sunshine and light breeze. The race is 52 miles, a decent test for all the sailors taking part. Two boats leapt off the canvas this year, Mike Slade's 100-foot ICAP Leopard, one of the most successful offshore racers of recent times, and Andy Budgen's 72-foot Volvo Ocean Racer Monster Project, a weapon designed to chew up oceanic miles. averaging about 11 to 12 knots. Uh, I know I've just checked on Leopard's AIS, I think they're up in the 12.5s, so it's all pretty close at the moment. While Leopard was chasing line honours, Monster Project was chasing Leopard. This ex-Volvo boat is like a muscle car, broad, immensely powered up, and a handful for the crew. For the guests, this was an insight into the hardcore side of sailing. Well, for a day anyway. Uh, well, we've had a pretty good race. It's been quite light winds. The Volvo likes a little bit more wind, but I think we did pretty well behind the likes of Leopard and closely followed by True Racing and Scarlet Runner. We've been working pretty hard in preparation for this, for this event, so nothing a couple of beers can't fix and a good night's sleep, we'll be ready to do again. So, beers for Pippa and crew and the Yachting World Trophy for ICAP Leopard, who finished in 5 hours and 23 minutes, three quarters of an hour off the record. In our next report, we'll be covering the first two days of Antigua Sailing Week. Over a hundred boats are here and Nelson's dockyard is buzzing. Plus, we'll be chatting to Antigua's very own Shannon Falcone from Oracle Team USA. How did they win the America's Cup? Stay tuned to find out.